Good evening, you guys. It's currently 4.20 in the afternoon while I'm filming this video. Sorry if this voiceover, I sound super stuffy. I've had the hay fever all week and I'm just filled with so much nastiness and I'm currently recovering from it, but I'm still sitting down to make this voiceover for this night routine. Now, I started work off a little earlier throughout the day. I think I started at like 1 to 2 p.m. after I filmed a TikTok morning routine. So I just got some emails done. I had a meeting to go over a couple things with and do some organizing on my laptop and finish up a bunch of editing but i knew that it was getting late and once my timer went off for when to get off my laptop i got ready to go straight to the grocery store because we are out of so many ingredients that i wanted to make some specific types of dinners for so we started heading our way to the grocery store and i always say this in all of my vlogs how in this economy it feels like a luxury to afford groceries especially if you want to get any healthy type of groceries so in order to save a little bit of money on food this year i always go to aldi's they usually have some organic products and they have a lot of things that aren't that expensive and in other grocery stores so i just picked up a couple things for dinner tonight and for the rest of my week Once we were done packing up all the food, it was already like 5.30 by the time we were heading home. So once we got home, all we wanted to do was just get the groceries out of the car, get them in the house and put them all away. And by the way, Matt does always help me when it comes to the groceries. I'm not carrying them all by myself. I do have this thing called hyper independency where I don't want to ask for help and I want to do everything on my own. But for also for the sake of filming, I always ask him to be behind the camera to make sure that it's clear and the shot is okay. But trust me when I say he does constantly insist and I'm always like, wait, just check if the shot is okay. Once we got inside, we put away all the groceries. I've been in love with how organized I've been with my produce lately, educating myself on what fruits can be stored with what, if they should be kept in a cool area or in a room temperature area in the dark, out in the open, in paper bags, sealed or not. It helps me save a lot of produce, and I'm really bad when it comes to saving produce. A lot of my fridge always go bad, so I'm really proud of myself for not only eating it, because usually I don't eat it after I just bought it, but I am proud of myself for putting them away properly in the correct temperatures and they've been lasting a lot longer than they usually would and i am eating them a lot more often so i have not had a problem with the molding or them going bad ever since I did have a really good morning workout so my body was just starting to feel it it was feeling so achy and it all just hit all at once my muscles were so sore and stiff so I tried my hardest to get the house all cozy so that I could lay out my mat and feel comfortable doing some stretches of my overall body especially for my hips and my lower back in this video I was on my period so I feel like I always do a really good full body stretch when it comes to my period putting my body through a lot of stress and after an intense workout so i am trying to prioritize an overall full body stretch to loosen up my body's tension to get me all relaxed for the rest of the day especially if i'm about to start cooking and i'm standing and chopping a lot it really does impact how i continue the rest of my night Hello fam, welcome to today's night routine. I randomly, like impulsively decided to film this just cause to make a pit stop for a little grocery run today. I already filmed a 6.30 a.m. morning TikTok. So I was really productive since we went on a run. We worked out, some work done throughout this afternoon as you saw. And then right after I was finishing up work, I just decided to start filming and run straight to Aldi's because we ran out of a couple things that I wanted to make for dinner and breakfast lately. So, and I look a mess. I already took a shower after the run, but I didn't wash my hair because I washed my hair yesterday, but I feel like my hair does need to get washed. I'm gonna have another shower and I did go out to, you know, public. So I got a shower outside off again, especially with the pollen. I feel like anytime I go outside, I really need to shower it all off because pollen season is coming and I am severely allergic. So anything that I bring from the outside will come to the inside and kill me. But it's currently currently 7.02 p.m. and I listed out while I was working I listed out my night routine on my notebook and I for the first time I like 
time stamped everything and so far i'm actually on schedule i wanted to take a shower at seven o'clock but we're gonna switch that with prepping dinner with prepping dinner was gonna be at 7 30 so we're gonna switch that prep some dinner and then take a shower for tonight's dinner i already put away and cleaned all the veggies from the grocery store some are even chopped and prepped and ready to go so before i take a shower i'm gonna start on dinner you are my minutes ago but I forgot to put the chicken the crispy chicken in the air fryer so we were just waiting on this to cook while my salad just sat here but now she's finished this is the first time I made a little Asian chicken salad with some rice noodles so far it looks good I'm gonna put even more dressing I feel like that's what it needs a little sprinkle of salt and we're gonna whip out the everything everything bagel seasoning this is must. I don't get the one at um, Trader Joe's anymore. I get the big one in Costco and you get, literally get it in bulk. I used to buy like, I used to have to buy like a $5 mini one each time I went to Trader's, but now I just buy one big one in bulk and I haven't ran out since. Guys, this looks so good. I'm so freaking excited to eat this. It looks delicious. I actually hate carrots, but I really wanted to add some color. So maybe I'll like it if I try this, but you never know. Guys, I'm so full I couldn't even finish it and that's a lot left over. I literally can't eat anymore Matt's gonna clean up the kitchen while I'm gonna go take a shower second shower of today i didn't really like wash my hair this morning after the run i kind of like let the water like hit my face when i go through my scalp while i'm still in a bun so it's not completely washed while i'm drying i'm going to wash off my face because i still got makeup on it and i completely forgot to wash my face in the shower so These are my pajamas. I've been wanting to get aesthetic pajamas, you know, like the color matching. And I do have like three nice pajamas, but sometimes I think we just gotta be a little realistic ladies and a t-shirt with nothing under is the way to go. I do have to wear shorts, however, for the sake of this video. Did I just say for the sake of this video? For the sake of this video. I know y'all see me in this shirt so many times. What are you gonna do? It's pajamas. Who's gonna see me? Why am I going on the red carpet?
I'm having a hard decision on what drink I want to drink tonight. I'm indecisive about the poppy strawberry lemon, the passion fruit tangerine kombucha, or the orange poppy. Now, I was originally going to do a kombucha, but I'm pretty sure kombucha has like a tiny bit of caffeine in it. And I don't know how sensitive I am to caffeine. So we're, I don't know. Which one should I do? I think I'm going to do the orange one. I don't know if that's cute or not. It's about that time of the night where the cats have their zoomies and they're wrestling each other. So, so far it is 9.41. Matt already fed the kitties. You guys want to see them eat their dinner? They're real messy when they eat though. This is Moon, you know, taking his big gulps. Oh my God. We got Wednesday. Yep, say hi. And then here's Doja, who eats a little slower than the rest of them. So we really wanted a dessert for tonight and I was going to do chocolate strawberries but Matt insisted on this chickpea cookie dough that I got from this creator. This is my edible. There's hella fiber in chickpeas and the fact that the main ingredient is solely chickpeas. I am I was sold so we're making that right now. Matt just finished the chickpea. Uh, one tablespoon of peanut butter. I don't have like peanut peanut butter. I only have like powder. Which I think this will still do justice. This will do the works for it. Brown sugar, maple syrup, one fourth cup of flour, vanilla, and salt. So we've been holding off these bananas because they've been turning black. And I always say how the blacker the banana, the sweeter it's gonna be. So we were gonna make like banana bread with it, but I was thinking why not add it to this cookie dough? Because it makes it only makes sense to have like a natural sweetener instead of adding like too much brown sugar, too much maple syrup. I ain't got no vanilla, but we're gonna add some cinnamon. And then we're adding one fourth cup of this almond flour. I'll make sure it's packed. some chocolate in there and I'm just gonna mix it in there. Thank mm -hmm. you. 